In this Roblox Studio tutorial, I will show you how to create a GUI button that can open and close a GUI by simply clicking on it. Okay, so let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your Explorer on the right over here, and if you don't have it open, just go to View, and then you can click on Explore right here, and also Properties, and then they will show up. So you want to go to your Explorer, and uh, you want to go to the Start Your GUI, and you want to insert a screen GUI. So there it is. And then inside the screen GUI, you want to insert another object, and this one will be a text button. Okay, so now on this text button, you want to go to the properties of it, which should be down here. And you this is where we can change, we can customize it as our own. So let's say we wanted to, one of these is background color. So let's say we want to change the color of the background of the text button. So maybe we just want to set it to red. There we go. And we can also change stuff like the transparency. So then like, if we set it to 0.5, it's like half see-through. And some other things is we can change the border size pixel. So we can set like the the outline to make it bigger or smaller. And we can of course change the color for that too. So those are just some things you can do. You can also go, to, go down to the text and you can change the font if you want. So we can do, we can do a uh, highway and we can scale the text if we want so that it scales perfectly on to the button and we can change the text so we can make it say menu and there's other things you can do you can change the size the size on its own right here you can also change the color so we can make it white and oh that's the stroke color you can change the text color here so we'll set that to white and we'll set the stroke color which is like the outline for that we'll set that to black and we'll set the transparency to zero so that you can see it there we go so yeah that's some basic things you can do to customize a text button and there's also other things we can do so one of them is we can change the size so let's just set the offset to zero and then we'll change the scale we'll change it to point 0.1 and point 0.1 and there we go. We can also go on here and then change the size from here. There we go. And then we can also change the position. And we can set the offset to zero. Good thing it's already set to zero. If you set the offset to zero, it'll scale correctly and fit on every device. So let's just put it like right here. Okay, so that is our menu button. So yeah, that is the first part. Now I'll show you guys how to make the actual menu. Okay, so next you want to go back to the screen GUI, and this time you're going to want to insert a frame. And basically what a frame is, it's a GUI that inside the GUI you can insert uh, different kinds of GUIs, like text buttons, text labels, images, image buttons, and yeah, pretty much anything. So, And for this one we're just going to customize it kind of the same way how we did with the menu button. So first we're going to change the size, we're going to set the offsets to zero and we're gonna oh and if, if you don't see this by the way it's if it looks like this for you then you just want to click on these arrows and then you'll have this pop up down here so we're going to set the scale to 0.3 and like 0.2 let's see okay there we go maybe let's make it a little bit bigger maybe double each of them okay I think that's good it's a good size, and then we'll set the position. We'll just kind of center it. There we go. Okay, so now we can change the background color. Let's change it to maybe, uh, we'll just make it completely black, but maybe we'll change the transparency to 0 0.5. And we'll make the size pixel for the border, and we'll make it pretty big. And we'll just change the color. We'll change it to maybe blue. Okay, so that looks good. And next you want to do, I totally forgot this, but you want to make sure you name this menu. There you go. And now there's some other things we can do. Um, I think we're good with the frame, so now let's just do some other stuff like in, let's insert some more GUIs in this frame. 
for the menu. Okay, so first we got a text label and we can change the text. We can change it to welcome and we can set the font to whatever we like. We can set it to Arial and we can scale the text. There we go. And we can change the color to blue and we can make the you can set the border uh, transparency to one so that you can't see the border at all and it's just just looks like a text and we can set the outline we'll set it we'll set the transparency to zero and there we go that looks pretty good so and we'll change the scale of course There we go. Okay, let's make that just a tiny bit bigger. Okay, there we go. That's better. So, so far in our GUI, we got, for our menu, we have a menu button and a frame. So, now we can do some other stuff. Next, let's try inserting a image. Where's the image? There it is. Image label. And, oh, okay. I put that in the wrong spot, so... Let's put it, you have to put it inside the menu. And let's just choose an image. Let's choose my channel icon. There we go. And for this, we'll just make it fit. Make it a, a square. There we go. And we'll set the size constraint to either relative, we'll set it to relative XX. And we'll set the offset to zero for both of them. And we'll set the scale to 0.2. And the scale to 0.2. There we go. Okay, so that's another image for our menu. So yeah, that's our basic menu done. Because we set the offset to zero and we changed the size by scale, we made it so that the menu fits on every device. If you go to test and then go to the emulator, we have different uh, devices that emulate what it looks like on every device. So if we look, if we see what it looks like on an iPad 2, that's what it looks like. As you can see, it fits on every device. So it still fits perfectly if we're playing with it, whether on an iPhone 4 or iPad Pro or on an Xbox. So yeah, so that's good that we got the menu to fit. So now we're going to want to go back to the menu. And we're going to set the, we're going to set visible and we're going to uncheck that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to make the button work. Okay, so next you want to go back to the text button and you're going to want to insert a local script. Not a script, but a local script. And you're just going to want to follow along. You're going to do a script, script.parent dot mouse button one click. Connect function, and then now you're inside this. You're going to want to do script dot parent dot parent dot menu dot visible equals not script dot parent dot parent dot menu dot visible. So you can just copy this and then paste it right here. So this just means this script is just telling us. So when we click the button it'll make it so that the menu will either show or not show, depending if it's already shown or not. Okay, so now if we test it out, as you can see, we spawn and we have our menu button. So if we just click on this, we have our menu pop up right here. And then if we click on it again, it closes. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, I hope this, this tutorial helped you out. If it did, please be sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you later.